everybody, 5 foot 8 dunker, vertical trainer, Andy Lloyd here from Sky Athletics, coming to you today for episode 48 of the Sky Vlog. Now today is going to be progression 3 of my jumping technique for 2 feet. Now, I have a video that's how to jump higher in less than 2 minutes on my YouTube channel. Go check that out. But today, we're going to focus on the third progression of what I believe are the most important steps into creating a healthy jumping technique to jump off 2 feet. So. We're gonna get right into it. Now, you can go watch progressions one and two for an in-depth, uh, detailed description about why I'm doing what I'm doing as far as progression one and progression two. But uh, if you've seen those videos, and we're gonna get right into it, I'll remind you of the first two progressions, and then we'll get right into progression three. So, um, progression one is just focused on turning the second foot that comes around when you go to jump off two feet. Now, I plant left to right, so for me, it's my right foot. So. This is all, all you're doing in the first progression is focusing on turning that right foot to take the tension and put it on the muscle instead of the knee. Again, full descriptions in the other videos. And the second progression starts to focus on the same thing, but it starts to focus on going from your heel to your toe in the first foot that plants and then coming around on your right foot. Again, to take the tension off the knee and put it on the muscle. So progression three, it's fairly similar to the first two, but again, I want you guys to pick up on the little nuances. And these progressions are meant to be slow, but I want you to understand one before you move on to the next. So progression three, I'm gonna start basically in a sumo squat position, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna squat down. Now I wanna stay low in my hips, but I wanna keep my chest up, okay? So getting low doesn't mean getting down like this. Getting low means keeping your hips low, being in this athletic position. So right now I'm going to put most of the pressure, okay, on the right. So since I plant left to right, I'll show both. Since I plant left to right, I'm going to put most of my weight on my right leg on the ball of my foot. And for my left leg, again, I want to focus on going heel to toe. So I'm going to be pushing off and I'm going to end up being perpendicular to where I first started. So by that I mean right now I'm parallel with the wall to my house, but turning 90 degrees, I'm perpendicular to where I was just before, so increase that 90 degree angle. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing that right now. So, I'll show you from, a, from this side angle right here. I'm gonna get in my, my squat position. Now remember, I'm a left to right planner, but I'll show both ways. And I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna put most of my weight on the right side of my body, on my right leg, on the ball of my foot, and I'm gonna put my left toe up towards the sky. Now, this allows me to rotate on my heel 90 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is push off of my right leg, go heel to toe with my left foot, wrap around and turn my right foot. So it combines the first two progressions and a different aspect into the third progression, okay? So full speed, or somewhat full speed right now. Again, get down like this, rotate on the heel. I'm gonna push off of this leg. And look, by the time this left foot goes from heel to toe, I'll be coming around on the ball of my foot, on my right foot, so that I can go up with some pop and that I'm not loading heavy down down at the bottom in a, in a deep position because that tends to put it on joints instead of the muscles themselves. So the better that you get with this jumping progression, the further distance I want you to get in between your feet. So for example, this might be a beginner stance right here, just feet a little wider than shoulder width apart but I want you to develop into getting further and further away so that look, look how much more weight I put on my right leg. And the reason I want you to do this is because I always say there's two jumps in every two foot jump. And the first one is off of your second to last step into your plant. So if you don't throw yourself into your plant, you'll end up extremely upright. And again, go back to my other videos, you'll end up with the knees over the toes and your chest over your knees which will make you go further out than up. So the more you get used to throwing yourself off of your second to last step, the lower that your hips will stay and the more torque that you can create from pushing off of this right here and coming right up. Okay, so you see how even how quick that is, how easily I can pop up. Now I don't want you to jump with this progression. I don't want you to jump yet. Give this a little bit of time before you actually start taking off. Now, if I were gonna do my right to left progression, 
it would be the exact same thing. You just switch it. So right now, I would put most of my weight on the left side of my body, on my left foot, and I would be on the ball of my foot with my right heel on the ground rotating on this foot. Now this allows me, again, to keep my hips low and my chest high. And when I say stay low, I don't mean hunch over, I mean drop your hips in an athletic position. So right now, I'm gonna push off of this left leg, go heel to toe here, and then by the time this foot wraps around, I'm gonna be going up all in one motion, okay? So there's no energy wasted, and you can transfer all of your horizontal energy from you running up to the basket into vertical energy. That was progression three of my two foot jumping technique. Again, I still have more progressions to come out, but I feel like this is a very important step into you developing a healthy two foot jumping technique. Now, there are more progressions, but take your time with the first three. There's no rush, there's no need to rush. You want your body to get off the ground quickly. You want your body to get off the ground. I know everybody wants to jump higher, but you need to develop healthy habits. And I know this might seem extremely simple, extremely elementary, but it's what I do with all of my clients, even if they're at the collegiate level. I still do these progressions almost every single day just to remind myself, even for a couple minutes, just to remind myself the way that the body has to work. And if I find myself having a bad jumping day, I'll revert back to these jumping plyometrics maybe that night, maybe in the middle of my session, just to remind myself how the body should work when I'm going up to jump. So again guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you think of this video, what you think of the jumping progression so far, if you've been doing them, if you feel a difference. And the fourth jumping progression will be dropping this week, so stay tuned. I'm not gonna release them all every single day. Um, the first two I released back to back because they're fairly simple and I feel like you guys should understand those way before you move into the other one. So the reason that I waited so long wasn't because I didn't wanna release it or wasn't because I didn't have the time, simply because I don't believe that you should move on and rush into these other progressions. So I'm waiting for you guys now. Granted, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you might see them all at once, that's fine. Take your time with these guys. Remember, head to my site, www.skyathletics.com. Get those two free months worth of vertical training. Like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me at Sky Athletics on Instagram. Remember, everybody, Sky has absolutely no limits. Let me know what you think down below. Keep working hard. Let me know about your progress.